wrestling in the forest to the southeast of Berlin, the Stadion and the Altenfurstereien. And sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Union Berlin up against Monaco. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Well, the 
so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Then you're down. Alexander Kalavid has it. Volant. That pass could be troublesome. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Kedira. So nearly at half time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. Mm -hmm. If they can get the ball into the front end, it's that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Then you're there. In possession, Fonant. Can they get in behind them? Precise ball movement. He would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. The first half here comes to an end. <laughs> Short corner. 
himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Enrique. Benoit Badiashi. Aurelien Tuameni. Kevin Bonnet. Ben Yadair. <coughs> and he takes it all. Well, what a good start to keep them in this. Well, that would have been... <coughs> Not long left now, though. And time for the change now. And over comes the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. This could pose problems for the defenders. And he finds it out. He can hardly miss. Stuart. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple. 